For more updates on English book reviews, do subscribe to Bookstream YouTube channel. Press the bell icon to get updates on latest post. Ready to fire. How India and I survived the ISRO spy case by Nambi Narayanan with Arun Ram. This book presents a detailed insight about the life of the author Nambi Narayanan, an expert on cryogenic engines which successfully launched many satellites including Chandrayaan and Mars Orbiter mission through a rocket called PSLV or Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle from ISRO. A detailed understanding of how India embarked on a journey from solid fuel rockets to that of the liquid ones along with the history of how ISRO began and how the author joined the institution to develop institutions for future ISRO scientists through space technology. Every page on this book is quite interesting and fascinating read as the author takes the reader into a journey of his past wherein he highlights about how the rockets were initially designed and developed to how he was framed into a fake spy case. The author also presents us about the yesteryear leaders in ISRO including many interesting facts on the father of Indian space research Dr. Vikram Sarabhai himself. Also the author presents us the role played by bureaucrats like Mr. T. N. Session partnering or writing contracts for technology transfer from countries especially France for the development of Viking Vikas engine for PSLV and GSLV. Apart from the development of cryogenic engine and the hurdles he faced in France, the author also talks about the role of Russia in partnering with India to provide its KVD-1 engines which helped India to master space technology and outperform other nations by successfully launching satellites with reasonable payload and budget. The author also reveals about how this progress in general was unacceptable to the developed nation, especially United States or US, which then framed him through some corrupt intelligence bureau officials or IB officials along with the support of some corrupt Kerala state police officers with political assistance. This book is seriously a thought-provoking one as it reveals about how an institution responds to its employees and also about how relationships, career as well as physical and psychological impact will cause extreme trauma to the intellectual scientists who just want to see their nation progress and achieve great heights through their contribution but are framed on a baseless spy case to postpone or delay the progress of the nation itself. This book is soon to be made as a motion picture starring R. Madhavan. But reading this book gave me more interesting and detailed facts about how the life of a scientist during post-independent India looked like and in particular ISRO. The author also provides his encounters and interactions with many legendary space pioneers like Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, Professor Satish Dhawan, Dr. U. R. Rao, Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam. Totally worth reading for those who want to know more on the history of ISRO and also about how a fake ISRO spy case was developed by India's enemies. Until the next book review, signing off, this is Sandesh Shanmugam. Take care.